Good. This reading is for Taurus. I uh, hope you can hear me. Hmm. See some travel. Somebody's coming in to take you on a trip. Tour, somebody's coming to take you in on a trip. They are going to wine and dine you, is what I see. Yes, sir. You got two trip cards coming up. I see sandy beaches, clear water. Yep, building. Don't worry, this reading's not going to be like this. It's going to be a regular reading. I'm going to lay it out, but I'm just going through. Maybe with a fire sign. Absolutely. For some small building with a fire sign. Bradley had that yellow. Finally got your. Uh, you're worried about the love. Because hmm. they've been working hard at them Ten of Pentacles. I wouldn't worry about it. I don't see anything of them cheating on you. We'll see in the reading. Spirit, you ready for me to lay it out? This is going to be from April the 20th to May 4th, Spirit. One go shuffle. One go shuffle. Alright. Is that okay? Nope, again. That's good. Oh, you're worried about somebody being deceitful. Mm, you're having a fight, looks like, with an Aquarius. So, oh, you feel bound and tied. Oh, my friend, on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. All right, Spirit, let me get one on this deceit, and then I'll get a one on that star right there. No, yeah, that's all I want. That's all I want. Chariot. I'll get one on that temperance in that star. Ten of Cups. Uh, it may not be. I see two different things here. I can get two on the overall. Take it now. Wheel of Fortune. And the Knight of Wands. Yep, there's, uh, I got three different readings here. One, the first one, somebody's going on a vacation. It is definite. Our vacation, your partner, it, it's a surprise. He's taking you somewhere where there's a beach. Sandy blue, I mean, just crystal clear water you can see through. It is beautiful. And the second one is... Taurus, you're all up in your head. You're worried about stuff going on. Somebody being deceitful. And you're needing a knight in shining armor to take you away. That's going to be an air sign, I believe. It could possibly even be Aquarius since you've got a sword there and the star card. Um, you're very emotional about it. You feel bad. I'm going to say maybe possibly you were robbed or somebody broke into your house. Yeah, give me just a 
just a second here. Rob, somebody broke into your house, maybe even possibly your car. It really puts you at ease, at ease. It was possibly a loved one, someone within your family or your friend area. Um, they took something that was of great value to you. You have another family member who knows who it is. You're pretty sure who it is. You don't quite know. You're still thinking about it. You're tied up wondering who it is. Let me get a couple more cards on this one. Let me get a couple more cards on this one. Let me get a couple more cards on this thief. How's it going to work out? Give me on one. Let's not put it on the chariot. Let's put it on the chariot. Yeah, you want, you want it to come to an end. You want your stuff back. One on the death card. They put it in a pawn shop. It's in a pawn shop. It's already in a pawn shop. Taurus. Alright, let me get one on that Wheel of Fortune and then one on that Knight of Wands. The High Priest is something valuable that was from your family. Queen of Pentacles, a female possibly, possibly of an earth sign. One on that high priestess. Page of Swords, yep. Yeah. They took quite a bit of stuff from you. I'm going to say out of your vehicle. Could have been out of your home, but I'm going to say out of your vehicle. One on that Queen of Pentacles. Yep, you're worried about it. Something there was unreplaceable. Um, I also see another Taurus sign here. They are up in their head about some deception that they have done. Deception. They have done to an Aquarius here. They're worried about it. It's going to come to an end after some people have some hard work. Oh, what card do we have here? Yeah, Queen of Swords. It could be, it, it looks like it could be legal and someone is going to offer you a deal. You are going to get a deal, Taurus. Empress judgment. Yep. You're going to be judged. You're going to get a deal. Uh, you're going to go for the deal. Whatever the deal is, you've got a ticket or something. I don't know. I don't know what kind of business it is. Give me one on what kind of business it is. What you got on the bottom of the deck? The Hermit. Yeah, over a Virgo. Something you've done to a Virgo. You're in a dispute with a Virgo. Something. Yep. An injury. And maybe it's a... Uh, maybe a DUI. I don't know. There's a hurt card here. Somebody got hurt. You're paying for it. You're going to take the deal. Alright, let me get three of these other cards for Taurus. May the, uh, April the 20th to May the 4th. April the 20th to May the 4th. Uriel the Sphinx. The Architect. And the Divine Physician. Uh, where's my book?
Ariel the Sphinx talks about how you need help and all you have to do is look for the people around you. Someone around you is going to help you. Let's see, the architect one key. At a mundane level, you could find yourself involved in a building project, renovating, redecorating your home or workplace. Most important, this card shows that it's time for you to step into your position of power. In order to do that, you must recognize your talent and strength as well as your uh, authority to take charge. An opportunity beckons the utilities your skills, perf your skills perfectly. Feel the command you have over the great scope of this situation and take charge. The divine physician in reverse. You may have lost sight of all that requires for your own self-care, and it would be your path to discover your healing gifts. You may have gotten sidetracked for a while. In any event, it's time to get back on to your care, get back to your own self-honoring, and reconnect with your gifts. You may also have forgotten the power of your thoughts, ideas, and emotions, which are part of the exire no elixir that brings healing to you and helps you bring healing to others make sure you attend to these ingredients as you put yourself back on your path to the divine physician oh no yeah that's a reverse the divine physician words of power and actions to take to support them will make you rise again okay what i see here is you're taking on a new opportunity, a new work position somewhere. And although you have great skill in it and you're going to take leadership in it, watch out for those around you. Watch out for those around you because you may come to an injury because of them. <laughs> you're going to have an accident at work. <laughs> So just be careful. You're going to slip and fall. I don't know. I mean, that's what I see. Slipping and falling. If I said it, that must be what I see. Alright. Taurus, that is your reading for May 20th, uh, April 20th till May the 4th. I thank you very much and blessings. My phone's falling. <laughs>